So this is going to be a quick reminder for those who are playing on the Japanese PS2. Big thing is, Fire Swirl event is going to disappear along with the limited time quest over here. Global is going to get the same thing that we got over there. So if you are playing on Global, you can take advantage of that. In terms of these NPCs, you would want to make sure you complete multi decline orders and try to get the partner card. For me, I didn't really do as much. I should have, but I just didn't. Mm, da, 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 da. What else? Collection files still the same dealie. I don't think we got any new collection files from this. Nope. Nothing whatsoever. Big thing is, once again, limited quest is gonna disappear. It's gonna be over there in global. Um, there's also, what is it? The file swore emergency quest. That one's gonna disappear as well. Or the burning ranger emergency quest. Let's get a poof. I think that's, I think I know who that person is, but I'm not gonna bother them. So that's gonna happen. The big thing I'm gonna have to stress is her. Zai. And the Weapon Badge 2021. Actually, I would also have to talk about the web link stuff as well. So Weapon Badge 2021 Exchange Shop, you can see there is an expiration date. Make sure to empty most of her items out because one, you're not going to buy these again. You won't be able to access them after this event is gone. So make sure to buy everything. Big one I'll highlight is the lobby action because this is an NGS lobby action. And lo New Genesis lobby action. So you would want to get that. It will cost 100 badges. Another thing is this ice stone. It costs 600. It is worth it. Get it because that means another light weaver weapon. The claws crass weapon series. Then anything else is optional, but I just emptied it out regardless. Um, another thing is the regal memories because that allows you to get other old stuff from the memory shop. And I'll show you guys where you can find that. Now the donuts. The donuts you would definitely want to get a lot of and then just like pop them and just have a stupid timer on them for all your characters. Uh, they will expire. They will expire once maintenance kicks in. So make sure to empty that out. Now all these other shops you don't need to worry about. Because you can access them through the weapon badge NPC. I'll show you guys where she is located in a bit. Now what you also want to try to make sure you do is just check individual reward stuff. Now I didn't decide to max this out all the way up to 10k. Could have so I can get most of the rewards but it is what it is. I already got a lot of these things. Um, the big things would be these these special augment transfer passes, these special aug ability transfer passes. Those would be nice. But the big thing is to at least get to 1,700. 1,700. Why? This gives you a lot of items. And it gives you a good chunk of those passes. So it gives you an EX try boost of 150. It also gives you a 300% rare drop rate boost. This also gives you 150% try boost and then 20 special augment transfer passes. And then you can see the prior ones, they give you a good chunk of keys and other excess items as well. Big ones is over here because this one gives you a, three tickets that give you 100 star gems. So you get 300 star gems from this, the rainbow key, the uh, lab the grinders, and then if I remember correctly, this is like, I think a million XP. Um, might be wrong on the number. It might be 100,000. So yeah, as, as you do these, you just get a bunch of these things. And then once again, you get more ability transfer passes. You get like key, you get lab the grinders. Um, I think in the very beginning, there was like, uh, there's another rainbow key right there. There's some badges you can get. I thought there was another reward for stargents, but pretty much you'll get a lot of stuff. Make sure to kind of get up to that number and the way to get these points is if you do the limited time quest or you do the urgent quest um urgent quest is your best bet to get a lot of badges quickly um especially if they do drag it out but other than that yeah like make sure to do that make sure to get that many points or well that much points so last thing i'll point out is this person now if you look at them You'll see that the fourth option is new and it's in reference to Exchange Weapon Badge 2021. The four tabs beneath Zai is pretty much the same four tabs over here. So even if you don't have, like even though you don't have a lot of medals after you spend it all on the first uh, options over there for Zai with the limited stuff, you can always get the stuff that you missed out on over here. And they give 
a lot of stuff. They give you a lot of technical things. Instead of novels, these are revelate units, liberate units. And then not only that, you can actually get the Renza weapon series over here as well. Very good because it is the Fluxio version 2, which is compared to with the Light Weaver, the Claws, the Crass weapon. Not only that, there's a bunch of lobby actions over here. Most of these were free, but now you can access them by trading in a good chunk of your 2021 medals. Not only that, you can also get a good chunk of weapon camos over here. There's a lot of them. You had to go through that. And then a good chunk of costumes as well over here and accessories and all that jazz. In terms of the Regal Memories, you would have to go to the second option over here and then click on this first one. And then you could exchange the memories that you have for any of these items. So some old costumes, or you can go for some lobby actions or some accessories. Note that uh, I just realized with the Graphica update, they allowed, allow female characters to use male body parts now. You get that certain accessory. Um, there's a certain lobby action if I remember. Is it down here? Nope. Okay. But yeah, you can get a good chunk of stuff from here. So use that to your advantage as well. But that is it for this video. Just a reminder to those who are playing on the Japanese PS2 that these things are going to go away. Global's going to get the same stuff in terms of limited time quests and the urgent quests, Burning Rangers most likely. They'll most likely show it on Arx Hour. If not, then it's going to be somewhere because it did mention it in the list. So... Thank you guys for watching. Once again, hopefully you guys take advantage of it. Make sure you finish what you need to do. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.